In 4b, <clears throat> we have two fraction, two uh, radicals where the indexes don't match. So we can't multiply them as is. Now there's a few ways we can go around this. So there is this property that if we have a root like this, we'll call that root x and a. If I increase this root by factor of n, and the power here is a factor of n, that is equivalent to the original radical. Okay, so in this case here, I can increase the radical value of the root 3 into a root 6 radical. So I can convert this root 3 into something that looks like this. So 8, a to the 4, and this becomes root 6. And then if I, as long as I power that up by 2, we have the same index. Well, sorry, we have the same radical. We haven't changed, the, these are equivalent. We haven't changed the value of that. So now we have a common index. And we can multiply this together. So we have index 6. This is going to be 64 times 64. Or I'm just going to leave that as 8 to the power 4. And this becomes a6 times a5. This becomes a to the power 11. Okay, so we should we can leave it like this, although we should take the a to the power 11 out, and we should leave that as a on the outside, 6, and working out 68 to the power 4. So 8 to the power 4 is equal to 4,096. So we end up with 4,000. And 96, and then we're left with an a5 behind when we take the a6 out, out here. Okay, so that's one way we can do it. <clears throat> it says here simplify using exponent law. So we could use an alternative and just write this as exponent. So we have 8 to the power 1 third, a to the power 4 thirds times, and we can write this as 8 squared to the power 1 6, and this becomes a to the power 6 over 5. Now, I can, I'm just going to simplify this, 8 to the power 1 third times 8, this becomes 8 to the power 1 third, so this power when I combine becomes 1 third. And if I'm going to multiply these these <coughs> these a's together, I have to get a common denominator. So I end up with 4 thirds plus 6 over 5. Sorry, 5 over 6. That should be 5 over 6. And this should be 5 over 6 as well. Okay, so <clears throat> in order to add these together, my common denominator is going to be 6. So I end up with a, 8 to the power 6, plus 5 to the power 6. Okay, and I end up with a to the power 8 2 thirds a to the power 13 over 6. Now, I notice I made a mistake over here when I added those together. This should have been 4 to the power 2, with this, which is 8, to the power 5, which is 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay, so that should have ended up being pulling an a squared out of here, and we're left with a to the power 1. And so this Again, we could rewrite this like that. And this is a to the power uh, a squared, and we can leave that as a to the 1 6, like that. We should just leave it as a, the fraction, fractional power, so we can just leave it like that. But we could also break it down into, so we can see the whole number power on the outside of the radical matches the whole number power here. Okay, and if we actually work out that 8 to the 2 thirds and 4,096 to the root 6, you'll see that those are the same number as well.